believe. Hard to believe, Corey, it's already been three years. You're number three. How you feeling? Uh, tired. Tired? <laughs> and and, 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 uh, and, and uh, was the game tiring, or are you just tired uh, because of the whole process? Uh, just, well, you know, every game is always a lot goes into it, so I always feel that adrenaline at the beginning and then that sort of adrenaline dump at the end, so it kind of hits you, so... Yeah, I mean, three years has gone by pretty fast, for sure. So. For sure. Hey, great game against Sac State, getting the win against that uh, D1 program. Coming in here, hoping to not have a letdown after a game like that. How do you think the girls reacted? I thought good. I mean, uh, we've been able to get out to good starts the first uh, two games we've had, so that's a really good sign. Um, I, and I thought our energy was really high at the beginning. Um, anytime you're playing a team the first time out, you know, they're going to be pretty hyper, too, as well. And we were, uh, you know, the same way, feeling the same way. Uh, difficult team to match up against. You know, they've got a lot of foot speed, small guards, um, older group. They had a lot of seniors. So we knew kind of matching up was probably a key of staying matched up, trying to – we're still working through our lineup. So, yeah, I mean, I, I, I think it starts with effort and – the controllables i saw some good things today people i hadn't seen play before they're new to the program naomi davidson talk about her a little bit yeah i mean she you know played out played jc up up north you know and uh uh just a really great kid a lot of good experience she's been a good glue kid for us very versatile player um at her size she's a pretty good rebounder too so she keeps a lot of things alive plays with a lot of confidence and she's been a great addition for you us. guys crushed on the boards today fifth uh, 41 to 28 on the boards and defensive rebounding 34 19 a lot of good cleaning of the glass today yeah absolutely i mean um you know good sign for us i mean we struggled in this area last year it's been a point of focus for us early in our practices um so so far uh so good you know we We've been able to secure boards and, and second shots, and, and that, that's made a big difference. Now, security is something I need to talk to you about. Ball security. Yeah. 22 turnovers, Coach. Yeah. Well, you know, again, I don't make excuses. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm probably more upset about that part than you are. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we have to be better. I mean, I think in those situations, like, it starts over with decision-making and then what we want to do in certain situations. Still early. We have a lot of stuff that we're still working to, to put in. We're trying to figure out lineups. Um, you know, in this type of game, Myla went pretty heavy minutes for us, our, our point guard. So, you know, it's tough to get her out. And um, I think other girls just have to be more confident with the ball. And we have to figure out what our rotations are. We were missing, actually, you know, even though we had we played a lot of players, we're missing um, Jacqueline, um, who's played a lot uh, Kulo for us. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're missing also Bree, who's another guard for us, who's, who's out with a little bit shoulder problems. So, I think, like, a couple of those guards would have made a difference um, in our rotation. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's nice to get the win regardless. I'm not sure who's going to be more tired, you or Mila. She put 34 minutes in today. Yeah, I don't always like that, honestly. Like, I like to keep those guys around under 30 if we can. Uh, but uh, we have some people that just need a little bit more time, and we'll see how, how it develops. It looks like you've got some good depth going for you this year. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. yeah I mean, it's all about who you play, right? Exactly. <laughs> I always say depth is, like, the, you know, you play uh, – some D1 team, you may feel like you don't have any depth. <laughs> can, can I get six people out of the stands <laughs> to help us out here, please? But I'm happy with what I see. The girls are working hard, um, hopefully buying in. And, you know, it's a sacrifice, right, because you got players that want to be on the floor, and, and hopefully that they keep maintain that, that aspect. Yeah, everybody's going to play together. It's, it's a team sport, yep. and if you can you know, get them all to buy in, and so far so good. Yep. And I like the energy. I like yep. the pace that with which you played. Uh, you made some free throws. But coming out and hitting those couple three – Three pointers early in the game really yeah. set the tone. Yeah, makes a difference. I mean, you know, we have some good shooters. I mean, Dre, uh, Andrea, she's she's been shooting the lights out in, in our early part of our practice, and Natalie as well. So we have even another girl, Shatil, who's not going to we're not going to have her until the second part of the season. One of our better shooters. So mm -hmm. we're hoping that uh, that continues to be a strength for us. Let's play some inside. Let's play some outside. And let's rack up some Ws. Hopefully, yeah, it sounds good. That's head coach yeah. Corey Laster. Good to have you, coach. Yeah, thank you. And congratulations on the win. Appreciate it. That's Corey Laster, head coach of the Jessup basketball team more basketball action again coming up all the next three days come on out tomorrow we got three games tomorrow we got three games on saturday we got a heck of a crew out here and a great atmosphere i'm dave rosenthal for the crew taylor and the boys up in the stands and for my crew here on the scoring table final score once again jessup 67 westcliff 59 have a great rest of the afternoon and good afternoon and god bless for moria arena